What's he like to get his drive yeah. McLaren? I think a lot of people dream of that moment, but uh, uh, look, you know what I'm saying. I mean, it's, yeah, it's no, kind of I, a prestige very situation. Lucky to, um, uh, to have the, the job I have yeah. uh, in general and to be driving for McLaren for the last six years. Uh, I feel great with them. Um, I, I work extremely hard to get to this position. Yeah. Uh, I was lucky to, to win many championships uh, in my single seater career. Um, and I, I, it, got, it came to the end of 2011 or middle of 2011, and uh, AK Andrew Kirkaldi, he uh, CEO of McLaren GT, gave me this opportunity six years ago. Uh, and I've been trying hard to perform better than uh, than uh, everybody, you know, and trying to win win races and um, and represent the manufacturer and work hard to developing cars as, as best as I can. I was going to say, you know, it's kind of a strange question I was asking, but you know, very few people ever get to even be in a McLaren. And, and very few on top of that ever get to push it to its limits what, what? No, I feel very lucky yeah. but at the same time I worked hard for right, it exactly. and it's what I know best to do yeah. so uh, well, what is it like to drive a McLaren at its limits I mean what can you explain it to people every car has its own characteristics yeah. you want me to explain where, no, where I think yeah, we're very yeah. strong and where we're not yeah. uh, for example braking areas I think we're, we're, we're quite strong long radius corners um, second gear type long corners like the carousel I think we, our car works very very well and uh, yeah, yeah that's it no it feels great to be to be where I am and driving the McLaren yeah. 